Okay. This is me here trying to hook up, uh, not trying to, going to hook up one of these smart switches to my garage. And uh, I looked up uh, instruction on how to do it. I even got a manual here, but um, it's very difficult to understand. Uh, this is this one is made out in China. It says Sonar. Alright. And um, I saw some videos out there, but they didn't quite explain um, which wire is which. Um, I got a basic understanding. Um, so this here is a DIY hookup. And um, if you're not confident on doing this yourself, um, it's recommended that you get an electrician. So what I did was, um, what I did, I have this multi-tester here. And uh, also I have this, but um, it, the battery on it is not working, so I can't I can test with it. But this is what you basically use to test um, these type of outlets. Alright, so but um, a multi-tester will work. You set your multi-tester to AC and uh, connect one to neutral and then you test which one is the line or the, the live wire because this here has a neutral line in and line out and you want power going into this thing so you have to find out which one is the live wire and I discovered that my black wire here is the hot wire so that's line in and this one is line out which will turn the switch on so that's hooking up red would be line one out and line in would be the black for me so don't go by the colors go by the testing of the multi tester or the or this tester right here okay so I can't do this whilst I record this on my phone I only get two hands so here we go okay, I just hook it up and this is how it hook up like I explained before ground so I had to get a extra wire and hook it up to the neutral because the neutral was hooked up to nothing so you just get a wire here uh, hook it up to the neutral and then all you have to do is plug in the hot wire here into the in and the red one to the out and it works see a light bulb light off light on light off Great. Okay, so I just attached the plate. This plate here is going to help hold this thing together. And now I'm going to push all this wire inside the dinner. There it is. It's on. See? The only thing I don't like about this is that uh, when you clip it in, that's how it's supposed to go in, it, uh, it's very hard to to clip in. You have to push it in and then like, like pull it up. Depends on how you hook it up or down so that it will clamp, clamp in. And uh, I'm afraid that it might just pop out. That's the only thing I don't like about this. I wish it you could have just take the face off and then screw some screws to secure it. Now the next step is to um, synchronize it with my EV Link app 
and I sure there is a lot of videos out there that you can um, look at how to um, how to synchronize that with it. So that's all.